This is in response to the vid called Race, Reality, and IQ Disparity. I'm going to make this very quick because um, I don't think I need to say much about it. Um, the only thing that I would like to comment is upon this notion that um, number one, there is no pure Negroid that has high intelligence. Number two, the so-called intelligent blacks are light-skinned or have a uh, strong Caucasian ancestry. Uh, Kobe Dagith and other race realists uh, point out the so-called fact that black African Americans have 20% white genes. Well, that really doesn't really prove anything because Morocco, the people from Morocco have more than 20% genes. Actually probably have 80% white genes, if not 90% white genes. They're right near Spain, so it wouldn't be out of line to say that there was some intermixing. Uh, another thing is that the Arabs, many of those Arabs are very Caucasoid, white Caucasoid looking. There are some, there is some intermixture, but it's pretty much established as fact that uh, most Moroccans are are pretty much caught, pretty much from European ancestry. And the funny thing is, is that even though there are 26 million people, which you can compare that to the black population, which is approximately approximately 26 million, their IQs are are exactly the same. Um, how is that? The Moroccans should have, a high, based upon the gene theory in terms of ancestry, European ancestry, uh, the Moroccans should have a, sub a substantially higher IQ, and they don't. I mean, it's safe to say that most of those people are white. And I understand why they don't have a higher IQ if uh, Mr. Kobe Dega's theory is so uh, airtight. And another thing, uh, Mr. Kobe Dega likes to talk about the Ethiopians not being real blacks and they have European ancestry, they've mixed in with white Caucasoids, that's why they don't look like West Africans. Well, first of all, he doesn't have any proof, real significant proof of this. And even if he does, the question I need to, the question that I would like to ask is why do Nigerians have, have a higher IQ than the Ethiopians? Yes, there are some Ethiopians that are light-skinned and probably have a higher percentage of light-skinned Ethiopians than uh, light-skinned uh, Nigerians, and yet uh, the Nigerians have a 60, 67, 67 uh, IQ, while the Ethiopians have a 63 IQ. Um, even if this is not showing this, the statistical significance of superiority for the Nigerian, the bottom line is that, according to your theory, if uh, the Ethiopians have so much more European ancestry, they should not, they should not uh, be equal or uh, less, the IQ should not be equal or less to the Nigerians. Uh, so I think I just debunked half that crap that you just talked about. You're not a scientist, you're not an anthropologist, and you're not educated. I don't know, I mean, you're just some guy that can just read books and you're interpreting these things through uh, some racial feel-goods philosophy. Same thing as with black nationalists too, but uh, no, I don't buy it at all. And I'll, and I'll make other videos showing other light, lighter skinned countries where African Americans are equal or are beating. Uh, I think maybe India is one of them, but that's enough for now. And another thing. If anybody wants to make comments about Kobe Dega's video and they want to make sure that um, they, they remain undeleted, not deleted, put your comments on my board. First of all, copy your comments on my board, then put your comments on his board so we can show how Mr. Kobe Dega avoids the questions that a vast majority of people will ask him. Uh, in order for them to even consider taking his philosophy seriously. So, that's enough for now. Have a nice day.